So uh, I want to start by asking you why uh, food uh, comedy uh, as the first uh, as the first film, as your first movie. Uh, I think food and uh, relationship or love has a very um, interesting connections. Like when I think there's a word in English, right? It's called "I crave you," right? Yeah. It's, it exactly means I, I miss you, right? Right. But it, it doesn't have that word in, in Chinese. But it is like, I think when you miss somebody, sometimes you are like, you know, missing for food. You know, when, you, when you're enjoying a perfect dinner or a perfect meal, and exactly like you are spending your best of time with the one that you like or you love. And, and always after, after when you eat, you gotta feel a bit like, just, like just now Samuel took me to a dinner, I have a big steak right now in my stomach and I feel like oh, it's like a bit dizzy and and it's exactly when you fall in love with someone and you feel very fulfilled and I think this kind of feeling uh, has a very special connection physically and mentally and this is what first interest you know on me to to start the movie and so also I, I don't know if you feel hungry right now <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I did my job, and you, <laughs> and you feel like uh, you want to fall in love again, or you know, want to, you know, to see the, the one that you love, and if you did, I think um, that's, what, that's what I want to, because movies, for me, sometimes, I, I love serious movies too, and always when we want to, uh, 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 you know, like, uh, a lot of good movies, like uh, studying human relationship, that's all good movie. But when the first time I make the movie, I think I want to make something very easy and personal. So I, I pick up a very easy topic. You know, the first time I know uh, fall in love is like 20 years ago. I, I don't know, like <laughs> you know. And I I want I want to get back that feeling a little bit. I want to get back. You know, everyone got the first time that you were fall in love, and I I always. Try to seek back that feeling a bit. So this is the reason I, I made the movie. Well, also, I mean, you're, you're from Hong Kong. You're right. born and raised in Hong Kong. Yes. Uh, food is quite central to Hong Kong culture. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there is a tradition of Hong Kong uh, food comedies. Uh, Stephen Chow's movies, like The God of Cookery, a number of films like that. Was that any, uh, of any influence on, on, on this? Did you think of those films when you made this? Uh, not too much, but I actually did like see all the uh, food-related movies. Uh, Stephen Charles' movie, I think, um, uh, it's a bit different. Uh, it because it's like more comedy. I, I don't I, I don't see this as a comedy myself. But after I made it uh, in China, the audience laughed like really crazy, and I I have no idea sometimes. And <laughs> yeah, and this is. This is funny because I, I really don't mean to make a comedy as I just want to portray, you know, the first time when we fall in love, it's all, it's, you know, it's always like, um, it, it, it's stupid, you know, loving, loving somebody is, is a stupid thing because you, you know, is you, you, you go nuts, you go, uh, your head is not working anymore and I think that kind of stupid things makes it be comedy. And um, so, s going back what Samuel said, uh, is that Stephen Charles, uh, I think it's a different approach. I think I'm more interested in, in what I first said is about the uh, what relationship of food and love can, can bring out to a movie. And this is more interest me about. And I, I watch No Reservations. Um, uh, it's a good movie. I, I love it, and it's it's all about and even burn. You know, a lot of uh, uh, is that uh, what's that Indian Indian restaurants? A, a million a million step. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A journey of. Journey. <coughs> I have not seen this. Sorry. Sorry. No. It's like an Indian restaurant and a Michelin. Okay, anyways. Yeah, we it out. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. So I actually see a lot of uh, food movies, but they didn't really touch, you know, what 
I, I just said like uh, physically like a relationship of food and <coughs> and um, uh, love. Uh, today's special is the Today's special. To Today is special. Oh. All right. Is that what it is? All right, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, 100 foot journey. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Found it. 100 foot journey. The power of Google. Wikipedia and Google. So it, this sounds uh, like a rather personal movie. Can you describe a little bit how the, the, the film was put together from, the, from its conception, from the script to the screen? Right. Uh, when I when before the show I said the English name came first. This is not what I expected. It's actually uh, there's one time I the, the whole film was shot in Shanghai, and um, I met a um, female um, uh, a, a female shoe chef, and we, we have a talk. And she uh, she's from South Africa, and then I asked her uh, what the, what is the most interesting thing or most um, annoying thing that and the customer bring to you ever and she said I there's one time I get a comment from my um, uh, customers and it's written this is not what I expected and she said what this is not what I expected what do you mean you can say it is like too you know it's like too fat or it's like too salty or too sweet but you said this is not what I expected what do you mean and she's pretty pissed off but I, but I, I'll say, hey, maybe he or she said is something that is out of the expectation. You know, it could be something good. So at that point, this actually came to the whole concept of, of the movie. This is not what I expected. So everything I tried to bring in like a very, um, like too extreme, you know, so even from the casting, from, from Takashi and to, to Zhao Dongyu, there's like from total different world, you know, and then uh, even trying to do something with the cinematic style, you know, like even the shooting, trying to have more, you know, stabilized shots for uh, Takashi and more handheld and, you know, like uh, moving uh, uh, camera movement to, to don't use and also color wise, you know, they're the place to leave. So is everything trying to come up is like too extreme and this is this is what I want to try as, and this is also a risk to take because we try everything like so far away, and at the end we know we need to bring them together. So the further we, we put the two ends like further away, the harder I, I gotta you know deal with the film. So the whole shooting, I was like all the time sweating, like like did they love each other? You know, <laughs> can can they be in love? Can they be? together is like all in the questions, not, not until I get into the editing room. So it is like, you know, a test, you know, if, so at the end, if, um, if a relationship, you know, like two people from different world can be together, I think that's like, you know, like what love can do, I would say. So this is like coming from the whole idea of, 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 um, of the movie. The two lead actors, uh, Takeshi Kaneshiro and uh, Zhou Dongyu. Like, as you said, uh, you can't. It's hard to imagine uh, two actors coming from uh, such different worlds. Can you elaborate a little bit on how you work with them on, on the film and how the casting uh, took place? It's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really a disaster. As I am, you know, first time directing is is really a, a big headache because. Uh, you, you, you see the first half of the movie is actually the real situation on the set. It's like, it's like a disaster. It's like they don't understand each other. Uh, Takashi is very, um, you know, tra more traditional uh, uh, actor. Uh, and he's half Japanese, half um, Taiwanese. And uh, Japanese actor is more like on, on the rules, you know. He's like really dedicated on, you know, we need to walk through it and the camera and the, yeah, and everything is, should be like, you know, in the right order. That's his character, actually, Lu Jin's character. And for Dong Yu, Dong Yu acting is, because before I shot the, uh, this movie, I finished a movie called Soul Mei. It's also in, in, in the festival. You guys should see it. It's a great movie. And Soul Mei, I was the editor of Soul Mei. And I found Dong Yu uh, performance is so great that every take of her is so different. 
And I want to take this advantage to put on my film. So I let her, you know, like just go out of the room, you know, go whatever she wants. Like every time she 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 uh, she asks how to act, I will say, you know, just you know, free yourself or just try something totally different. So okay, that's why the disaster happens. One actor who actually need to follow this, and so every text finish, and then. Takashi will come to him. What what happened to to Dong Yu? Why why she's not doing that? And Dong Yu will come to me and hey, why I did that? And he didn't respond. And <laughs> yeah, and it is like you know the whole whole like I think we took like two weeks to get used to it. And then and then finally, it's it's the 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 funny thing is that when we shoot the movie, um, the whole process is actually like the movie itself. So two people from two different world. But ending up, they found they know that okay, you um, Takashi understand don't you? You did this is this is what you know your your sunshine come from your you know all your spark is is coming from that. And don't you start to knowing that Takashi needs to like work this way. So they are have more a bit of communication a bit more and more. And and this is like um, there is one scene at the end. Uh, at the uh, market, uh, when the the last thing when they talk to each other through the the door, and don't you at the end ask? Uh, I, I don't know the English translation. Is that uh, do I, am I am I look sexy, right? Is is that what, okay? Sexy. Yeah, am I sexy? <laughs> this is actually not in the script. <laughs> it's not in the script. It's don't you just came out from what? Because she always on the set came to me said, "Am I sexy?" And I was like, hey, come on, like, give me a break, come on. We are talking about the script, and like, no, nobody's like trying to deal with her. So she want, she 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 put that lines on on the screen when we we're shooting, and at that time, Takashi actually can respond to it. It's actually at the uh, pretty end of the shooting, and this is what actually make me very very happy because at the end, you feel these two actors can actually collaborate with each other, and. Like make a like you know something that they hate each other becomes something that you know can make the movies comes alive, and and this is like the whole process. I think this is like really amazing of making movies. Exactly. Uh, let me now turn to the audience. Uh, you guys might have questions. Please raise your hand and speak loudly. Uh, it's hard to hear from here. Do you guys have any questions? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they must be hungry. <laughs> they must be hungry. They're like, let's get out of here. Get some food. I, 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 then I'm going to ask you one more question. Uh, you talked about um, the difficulties of shooting the movie, being on set, versus the editing room. You're uh, an editor by uh, by training, if I'm not mistaken. So, what do you prefer? Do you, did you enjoy the experience on set? Or are you still more comfortable making the film in the editing room? It's very different. Uh, I enjoy both. Like honestly, I enjoy both. I I will keep making movies and. But uh, I always explain, you know, making movies is like what uh, Dong Yu's uh, characters in in the movie is like working in the kitchen. Uh, the chef is actually the director. Is always director got an idea he want to give to the audience, like you know, this time I want to to try to put in what I think love is in the first time, uh, put in the movie, and so I become the chef and everyone helping me to 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 achieve the goal. But ed editor is like part of the kitchen, one of the shoe chef or the another chef to help the big chef to to do this. So uh, I think I, I really enjoy both. Uh, and, um, and working as an editor, you can you know experience more and more different stories, and you can uh, see more directors. And this is actually uh, my my past ten years work. I was working as an editor and. All the time, I'm learning a lot from different, you know, group directors in China, like Chen Kai Ge, uh, and uh, Peter Chen, and and a lot of uh, good directors in China. So this is where I actually absorbing uh, what film is filmmaking is. Filmmaking, I mean, film school is important, but I think the real experience is more bring me alive to the film. Uh, it's a question for Derek about uh, working with Peter Peter Chan. A uh, very famous uh, Hong Kong figure, I'm sure a lot of his films. How was the process of collaborating with Peter? Right. Uh, 
Peter is actually my mentor uh, all the time, and uh, so for specifically for this movie, uh, he is actually always my backup. Like because my first time on the set, something I'm not sure, uh, I can always ask him. He's he's always sitting next like next to me or behind me, and he he never interfere like what I'm doing, but. Uh, he when, when when I need he always comes up and the thing is because there was very special situations of of the movie. Uh, I think if if you guys know about like Hong Kong style or Chinese China style of making movies, you <coughs> know that we we only fix the cast or fix Dong Yu one month before the shooting, and the script before is not written as a character like Dong Yu's. It's like more a elegant <laughs> kind of. You know, girl. It's not like like a freestyle girl. So when 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 we end up choosing a freestyle girl, we're gonna change the script totally. So when we are shooting the first two weeks, we have a disasters of two two cars, and I have a disaster between me knowing the script, and you know, and so we are sorting sort of working out, you know, what the character of Dong should be in the in the movie, and so after like. Two weeks. I think we we got the point. We got what exactly uh, that character should be like, and then I will be more on shooting, and Peter is helping us to fixing script at at the later part. So I I I have to tell you that the end uh, the whole I think thirty minutes, uh, including the private chef, the the, the girl. And including his father, these scenes are only comes up in the middle of the shootings. It's not like before written. It's like when we shoot the point we need it, and then we add it. And so it's full discussions. And and at that time, I was every day on the set shooting on 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 the day. And then Peter was helping to figure out what we can do more uh, at the end at the script side. Thank you. Question about uh, Derek's new project. Uh, is it food related? Something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am, yeah, I am working on my new project, uh, but it's not, it's not food. I think we, I have enough food. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, shooting food is pretty painful because, you know, is I I I spend uh, five days just shooting all the food close-up shots, and and the food is disgusting. <laughs> you you cannot eat it, you know. <laughs> It's it looks good on the camera, but it it doesn't taste good. So, uh, no no food no food movies. <laughs> I think uh, oh okay, one last question then. How was it this time working with editors as opposed to editing yourself? So I think he edited a great deal. Right? <laughs> That's a good question. Like you mean like this time I edit my my own movies, right? Okay, it is another another disasters. There's a lot of disaster in the movie. It's like the the longest film, the hardest film that I ever edited. You know, when when you are an editor, <coughs> when you are an editor, you are sitting on the on the before in front of the computer, right? You always actually say, you know, ah, what 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 is the director doing? What, 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 where where is it? What what? I, I need the shot. Why he's not shooting that? And now it's like come to me. It's like I was sitting there. I I think I must shot that shot. I must have that reaction. I remember it very, very clearly. Like all the directors talked to me before, but I couldn't find it. Like so, I was like, you know, going through all the process. And th and the good thing is because from uh, from a long time, I I actually work with a team, uh, editing as a team, um, and um, so it's good that I have two other editors with me, and there's two girls editor, which is really good, and and we also edit. Together uh, on Soulmate, and so I think collaboration is pretty important. Before that, I will, I will, I think in in America too, right? But in, in Chinese, it's very often like edit is just one people, one one person, and he would go with work with director all the time, and with just one people. But I think this need to change because now we're shooting in digital, and and always for uh, this kind of movie, they don't have too much time of post production. So you cannot read all the footage by your own, and I will prefer to bring in more team members that will have different kind of perceptions on 
on, on, on their own and they're younger and they have you know different perspective on love on on everything so I think working as a team is very important as solutions to to me for for your question Thank you very much. I think uh, we have time for one last question. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> we could have to wrap it up. Yeah. No, no, let's wrap it up then. No exception. So what, what was your inspiration for that blowfish scene? Sorry? The blowfish scene? What was your inspiration for that? Blowfish scene? Can I say it? I can't say that in China, but I don't know if I can say it here. It's, it's high. It's just getting high, right? It's, yeah. But I, I, but I because, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to do that with just, you know, drinking. But uh, because the whole movie is about you know food and stuff, so the blowfish I think is close to the character of Takashi, because we in 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 Hong Kong in Chinese, my mom always said when someone got pissed off, they were like blowfish because you you got you know pissed off, you got blow off. So so this is what I relate with Takashi characters, and so it comes up. A thing that I we want something that they can get close, but drinking is just you know too too, you know yeah too too obvious. And blowfish is something fun, and and the um, the whole uh, the bus scene is a true experience. It's very personal experience. <laughs> you want you want to get into it? Uh, no no, I'm just <laughs> like like you know drinking and you know. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm gonna let the young lady ask a question. Okay, so uh, we have Takashi way earlier, like uh, before shooting, like like six months. We already uh, want Takashi to add in it, and and he already agreed. And the problem is we're finding the the lead actress, and we have actually go through the because the script was written more on you know someone that is more like the the party chef like that kind of girl, it's like more match, like, you know, more stereotype matching, you know, like, like that. And the thing comes up because we, we think that this is, mm, there's some, some problem with it. It's not, it's, it's too smooth. It's like too obvious. And in, in somehow we're not too excited about this, this kind of cast. We don't know why, just not too excited. And, and, and the thing is because we have Takashi already, so the thing is we need to find a way to change the, the actress, right? So, and the idea of this is not what I expected came in after I talked to the, the chef, the shoe chef, and then, so we trying to just, you know, like, whatever, like, fuck it, and, you know, like, just, just, like, go crazy. And at that time, and we have to say that because we finished Soulmate, and Dong Yu's performance is so great, and that because this is like so many is like the first time that we see Dong Yu's performance can can do this, and so we um, really consider about Dong Yu. We know there is a lot of risk, yes. and we know there's a lot of you know things to change, but we want to take that risk. So uh, that's why. Thank you very much, Derek, and thank you. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you. Have a good dinner.